Item number SCP-3316, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. A process of disseminating false medical data relating to occurrence of eye injuries in Gutenberg, New Jersey is to be carried out on a regular basis. Individuals reporting SCP-3316 events or the movement of SCP-3316 affected eyes are to receive a level 3 amnestic to prevent public knowledge of SCP-3316. Travel by Foundation personnel to, from, and through Gutenberg, New Jersey is to be regulated by the SCP-3316 project head. Description: SCP-3316 is an event which occurs in the city of Gutenberg, New Jersey. At 1.43 a.m., approximately 3.4% of the city's sleeping population will experience spontaneous enucleation of one or both eyes. This removal is involuntary, painless, and occurs without the knowledge of the affected individual. A significant section of the optic nerve will also be freed during this process. The eye will not experience necrosis once removed from the body, though it is vulnerable to damage during the event. Once completely free from the eye socket, affected eyes will begin to move along the ground utilizing the trailing optic nerve to generate forward momentum at a rate of approximately 0.6 meters a second towards a common destination. Affected eyes will generally avoid highly populated or active areas and remain hidden to avoid discovery during this travel. The common destination sought by the affected eyes is invariably an abandoned or inactive building either inside Gutenberg itself or just outside the city. Once several hundred eyes have arrived with as few as 362 eyes triggering this behavior, the eyes will begin to form a large circle that will grow as more eyes arrive. After a short time, generally 5 to 15 minutes, two of the eyes will enter the center of the circle and begin a series of aggressive behaviors towards each other. These behaviors include quick lunges at the opposing eye, whipping with the trailing optic nerve, and utilizing the trailing optic nerve to wrap around the opposing eye. These behaviors continue until one or both of the eyes are incapable of continuing due to damage. At this point, several eyes will remove the two from the center of the circle, and two new eyes will begin the same process. This process will continue until 4.35 a.m., at which time the eyes will begin a return to the individuals to whom they belong. This process concludes no later than 5.13 a.m., and the affected eyes will re-enter the optical socket of affected individuals. While the enucleation and re-entry will cause no lasting damage to the eye or the individual, other damage that occurs during this event often requires immediate medical attention for affected individuals. Eyes prevented from returning to an owner will lose all anomalous properties at 5.13 a.m.